Hi and welcome to Draw Plans. I'm Tom Norris and for today's tutorial we're looking at hatching. It's going to be all about hatching. I was doing a project during the week, this one in fact, and uh, I was trying to hatch something um, and for the life of me I couldn't remember how to hatch it and uh, I, I even had to check some of my videos on YouTube to see if I did a video on it as probably the quickest way of looking it up and of course I hadn't so I ended up having to ask a colleague and he showed me and um, you know and then you just have a laugh because um, if you don't use something for a little while um, then you may forget how to use it or you may have forget how to do it even though you knew very well uh, so it occurs to me that one of the things we're doing on YouTube uh, by putting up these little short videos on uh, doing or using some of the tools on uh, CAD or even TurboCAD is quite useful because um, you were working and you may not use something for a while and it's uh, great if you have something to just flip back on and uh, have a quick look at a video and then you go yeah that's it got it and uh, it's for that reason uh, I'm doing um, hatching this week and I'll I'll show you in a minute because even though you know how to hatch it's gonna you're gonna pull a few hairs out and uh, working out how to do it so this was the project I was working on um, I might as well explain it while I'm here because we're gonna be doing another um, tutorial based around it over the coming weeks. This is a large property. It's a, a stud farm down in West Sussex and uh, you know it's it's a pretty boring building because this building here was made for the staff of the stud farm but now the owners of the stud they want to turn it into a proper home and so it needs to be upscaled and expanded and you know given the lavish treatment so um, as an example, that's the floor plan on the ground floor as, as it is now. Uh, so I've kind of almost doubled it up by extending out to the front. And upstairs likewise, this is the top floor at the moment. And uh, it's only a, a three beds, uh, three basic bedrooms, whereas now it's a six bed. Uh, these are just preliminary sketches uh, to see what the clients think. But uh, yeah, well, it's, it's going to be the subject of a detailed uh, tutorial over the coming weeks when we get a little bit more advanced. But I thought I'd show you. But anyway, it's to do with um, actual hatching. So what I did here was I just drew a few lines uh, on the page, a bit like this. And I thought, right, Tom, how do you hatch this? And um, I, I just couldn't remember. And then, of course, uh, perhaps I was tired or whatever, but it's, it's all about being able to hatch odd things. Uh, it doesn't matter why, but um, sometimes it comes up and you've got to be able to do it. You've got to find a way forward or a way of hatching it. So uh, in this case now, pretty simple, uh, but it wasn't at the time. So I'm using the meet two line tools. Uh, so I'll right click and it was this one, meet two lines, uh, to square that off. <coughs> and um, you can't hatch because it's, it's, four it's four separate entities. So what we got to do now is we got to join these entities. For that we go to modify, join polyline and when you join them you have to make sure you right click and go finish if you don't do that it doesn't work they doesn't they don't join so now if we click uh, or select it should be ready for hatching there you go that's how you hatch just an odd thing like that so i'm going to do it quickly again uh, this time let's see if we can join the lines together without using the meat two line tool uh, so I'm going to go to modify giant polyline and finish so now I select hasn't happened has it hasn't happened so we're going to try one more time I'll explain it but it's important you 
kind of become aware because sometimes something doesn't work and you have to know that you've got to do other procedures or something before you can make it work. So we're going to try again. We're going to go modify giant polyline. Click, click, click. All working well. And then you click on finish. It's going to work, right? No, still separate. Now, I, uh, the reason this happens is because these are not meeting. So in other words, I'll give you an example. Let's just take that to there. Now we're going to try again and we'll see what happens. Giant polyline. And we get a slightly different answer this time. Finish. And I select, I've got these two, but it doesn't select those. And the reason is, uh, in short, is that these need to join, not overlap. So there's a difference between overlapping and joining. So again, the reason the first one worked was I used the meet two lines tool. And then I went to giant polyline. This time I should only have to select three and finish. And there we go. Right now, here's where it gets a little bit difficult. So uh, I was playing with this before uh, I started uh, recording and uh, it looked simple enough, but it wasn't. So let's assume um, I want to hatch this little section here. How would we do it? Well, there's numerous ways of doing it, but obviously you're going to cut off a lot of stuff, etc. Well, um, so I'm going to start with a very simple way and let's see if I can make it work. No. Um, so I can't join this because it's uh, the Pentagon is uh, a shape, isn't it? It's a polyline. Um, so I'm going to what I'm going to have to do is do a little cutting first. So to do a little cutting, um, let's see what we're going to cut. Let's use the circle to cut off. So we've got to modify, object trim, cut off all the surplus here, and now, so now we want to cut off something else, so, uh, dot, 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 dot. right, so, let me think about that, yeah, now let's just see what happens now. That's interesting. Ooh. So it's just a matter of cutting that off. Well, now I can think of about 15 different ways of doing it. Uh, and I'm going to show you what I used to do years ago. Let me just uh, on, on select. Uh, this is what I used to do ages ago because I didn't know how to do it any other way. So I go for object trim. Um, Get a little rectangle going and then I get the uh, selection get this right I'm not doing this very well at the moment ah, I cut it already I have I've cut it already how weird is that um, right let me just pop that here that's what I was trying to do and then what I would do is uh, object trim and I could cut like that just get rid of that get rid of I got my shape so by hook or by crook, I got my shape. So let's see if we can join it together now. Modify, join polyline. And it's looking good, isn't it? Looking good. And then make sure we finish. And let me see, select, all selected, looking very well. And there you go. Right, so uh, now let's do something a little bit more trickier. So 
So we think we can hatch, but maybe we can't. So now, uh, hatching these uh, would be very simple. They're not joined up, but I'm going to do one of these, and then I'm going to show you how to do the ones above. Uh, because it doesn't quite, well, it, uh, it doesn't always work. So you have to know what it is, uh, how to correct things, or why it's not working, and that's the, that's what the tutorial is about. So, um, so we're going to use the join. Let's go modify. Come on, join the polyline. We're going to just join. Make sure we join these together. It's the outer one and we go finish so then uh, see if i can color it in let's use a glass color perfect just do one more now uh, make sure you got that so we're going to go modify giant polyline and finish select working like a tree so now you know uh, how to join up the lines and how to fill it so let's do let's do this one because this is this is a little bit different a little bit weirder so we're going to go on joining the bits join polyline um, so now this was constructed in sections here the bottom line rather than one line this is a complete line uh, but the one on top again uh, will be in sections so you just click on the sections and we're going to go finish and i've got me a hatchable piece of glass so we got obviously I meant to color that so let me just roll it back I'm gonna go to color instead okay now that's easy enough now but sometimes it doesn't quite hatch out and uh, again now you're going to see so uh, we'll join the polyline Let's do all the little bits again um, one line yeah might take an extra few seconds but it works and then finish now let's test it this this one doesn't work this one isn't going black so which means uh, it won't hatch now why isn't it why is this one not working well let's have a little look uh, i'm going to try again giant polyline so these three are fine but not this one and sometimes you can't see what the problem is uh, but there, we know there's a problem so let me tell you if that happens to you and you're trying to hatch a shape and you get three or four sections of it but not one piece isn't happening then just get out of there and what you do is use your meet two line tools and just do the two ends just do the corners like that and now we try again see what happens uh, join polyline so it's going to do those three do those four finish as you can see, uh, are we all black? Are we all pink? Well, let's see. Uh, we're doing color, correct? There you go. So now you're learning how to sh do the, do the uh, odd shapes. Uh, see, I mean, let's face it. If I was doing a drawing and I had to hatch out the glass in the windows and so on, if I got a uh, a, a, an odd shape or a circle or an oval piece and I'd be I'd, I'd be in trouble isn't it if uh, I couldn't do that so you can't just be able it's one thing doing the squares and rectangles which are very simple 
what to do to shapes and if the shape is a problem know what to do to get rid of it so i'm gonna let's, let's do the other two and then we can wrap this up so i'm gonna go modify um giant so i don't know whether they will hatch or not uh, but if they don't i know how to fix it and by the end of this tutorial you'll be the same if it, something doesn't hatch you'll know how to fix it. What it basically means is something isn't joining up. Click on finish. And this one looks like it's absolutely okay. Uh, no, which bit? No, oh, it's this bit here, isn't it? So remember now what, what I said? Yeah, look at that. That's why it's not doing. Uh, just show you better that's the reason it's not it's not uh, hatching so we go to meet two lines there you go and come on down this one is bad also and then we're going back we have to do the giant polyline zoom in a bit speed it up and that was it isn't it then just finish select all and what color are we getting we don't want black do we just a blue would be good right last one let's see if we can let's see if we're gonna get lucky giant polyline Gonna zoom in. And yeah, it might hatch, but either way, um, when it I'm glad it didn't hatch uh, the previous ones because um, it gives you an opportunity to learn. So you see now these these two aren't going, which means you wait for it yep meet two line tools and we'll do it up here as well and just in case we'll do it here and we try one more time finish and looking good what color are we going for that's it okay so now you've, you've had your f fair share of hatching so uh, irregular bits uh, so if you if you're hatching something in the, in the future and you can't do the shape or you can't uh, just get it right then it means you've got a video on YouTube that's always there waiting for you um, just go into draw plans in YouTube and you'll find a video and you it'll, it'll solve your hatching problems okay brilliant that's it for the tutorial they're meant to be short uh, with bite-sized bits of knowledge passed on uh, hopefully you've got some value hopefully you've enjoyed the video uh, I'll see you on the next one thanks very much for watching bye bye